Hey travelers, welcome to the largest travel community in Europe. If you're like us, you've probably wondered how to stay connected online when traveling. Today, I'm going to show you how to have internet access in Mexico. So how do you get internet on your trip to Mexico? Whether you're traveling for vacation or for work, if you're looking for the best way to connect to the internet during your trip to Mexico, and you want to be online the moment that you step off the plane so that you can let your family know that you've arrived or call for an Uber or use Google Maps to find your hotel, we here at Passporter want to share our experience with what we consider is the most practical and cost-effective option. We're talking about eSIMs or virtual SIM cards. Stay tuned because in this video, We'll cover what's an eSIM and how does it work and what are its benefits, which companies offer this service, which is the best option and how to use it, and what other options are there if your phone isn't eSIM compatible. Unlike traditional SIM cards, an eSIM allows us to have internet without needing to remove our normal day-to-day -day SIM card. Some of the benefits include being available for purchase from anywhere in the world, meaning you can buy it before you leave and receive it instantly in your email so that when you arrive at your destination, you'll be ready to go. Ease of setup. Setting it up is quick and easy. You'll receive a QR code in your email, which lets you install the eSIM instantly. Price. It has more competitive prices compared to other options like roaming or pocket Wi-Fi. And like I mentioned it before, you don't need to swap out the current SIM card in your phone, avoiding issues with your WhatsApp number. As you can see, eSIMs are for us the best solution for internet access when traveling. So let's move on to which companies offer this service and which of these is the best option. Companies like Olafly, Aerolu, Truephone, and UBG all provide eSIM services. But before purchasing, it's essential to take into account which one best fits your need. We at Passporter consider the following the most important factors to keep in mind when choosing your eSIM provider. Number one, the duration of the plan or how long you'll be traveling for. Number two, whether support in your language is included. Number three, if they have an app to help manage your data plan. Number four, the gigabytes offered per plan, preferably unlimited. And last but not least, number five, price and which currencies you can pay in. All right, if you're wondering, how do I calculate the amount of data I'll need for my trip to Mexico? We're here to help. In this table, you can see the data consumption of popular apps that you might use. You can use this as a guide and compare it with what it says on the data usage settings of your phone. Once you know how much data you need, you can use this table here that compares each eSIM brand and the services that they provide to choose the best fit for your trip to Mexico. As you can see, price and plan duration time range depending on the company. And while most of them allow you to share data, not many of them offer unlimited data. In fact, from the ones shown here, only Olafly offers unlimited data, which is why we here at Passporter consider it the best option why we choose Olafly and how to use it. As an international community of travelers who require great internet connection during our travels, we at Passporter always choose Olafly for our internet needs in Mexico for the following five reasons. Number one, they offer unlimited data in Mexico and many other countries. Number two, they have flexible plans depending on your trip duration and destination. In Mexico, for example, you have five different plan options to choose from, not to mention, when you're traveling in North America, they offer a multi-destination plan. So if you're traveling between Mexico, Canada, and the US, you can hop from one country to the next without needing to change your eSIM. Number three, their 24 seven customer service, which is available in multiple languages, such as Spanish, English, German, French, Italian, and even Japanese. They also offer support through their chat and WhatsApp, and they reply within minutes, which for me is what really sets them apart because whenever we have any questions or something comes up, being able to speak to someone as opposed to a bot really helps. 
Number four, they offer various currency options for payment like the Euro, the American, Canadian and Australian dollar, the Mexican peso, sterling pound, the yen and more. And number five, with over 20 million reviews and a 4.7 star rating, they are the highest rated company on Trustpilot. After so many travel experiences, we've concluded that Olafly offers the best value for money. If you want to give them a try, you can use the discount code PASSPORTER and get 5% off your purchase. But before you do that, make sure that your phone is eSIM compatible. To help you with that, I've left a list of compatible phones down in the description. Installing Olafly's eSIM is super straightforward and it's available on both iOS and Android. We do recommend installing it before you travel since you'll need internet access to do this but you can always install it on your phone and wait to activate it once you arrive at your destination. To install Olafly's eSIM in an iOS device, simply make your purchase from their website. You'll then receive an email with a QR code. You scan this code with your iOS device and it'll redirect you to your phone settings. Once the eSIM is installed, you'll need to select if you want to use it for travel or for work. And just like that, it'll be ready to be used. You can also install the eSIM manually without needing a computer. Just write the code that you received in the email. You can also check their app for this code in the settings of your cell phone. This app, by the way, is a very convenient way to control the duration of your data plan. To install the Olafly eSIM in Android, please note that the process may vary a little bit depending on the model of your Android phone, but it should be pretty similar to what I'm about to show you. First, we'll go to settings. Then click on connections, choose the SIM card manager, add mobile card and scan QR. Once you scan it, it'll be installed. Now, if your phone isn't eSIM compatible and you're wondering how can I get internet in Mexico, don't worry, there are some other methods. You can use roaming. Most, if not all phone network companies offer this, but at an average price of between seven and 12 euros per 100 megabytes, we do rank it as the most expensive option. You can use pocket Wi-Fi. However, it's important to keep in mind that you'll need to pay for the internet plan, the cost of renting the equipment, insurance, and shipping costs. Not to mention that it's a more uncomfortable option in terms of portability, and its battery is usually limited to about six hours. These are usually for long-term contracts, but it is an option that allows you to share internet. Now, you might be tempted to forgo getting any data plan altogether, since in Mexico, you're sure to find Wi-Fi hotspots in airports, cafes, hotels, and even restaurants. However, it's important to keep in mind that these networks are very vulnerable to hackers, which is why we recommend limiting your use of these to only when it's absolutely necessary and to avoid at all costs carrying out transactions where your personal data could be at risk. Anyway, there you have it. This is our experience with connectivity in Mexico. We hope that as a community of travelers, this will help you when traveling. 